Hey everybody, it's Pastor Jason, and welcome back to another episode of Jab. Absolutely. Thank you for joining us again. I'm Pastor Brian, and let's jump right back into a quick recap of last week's sermon. Yeah, see, last week we finished up in 1 Corinthians chapter 3, and we asked the question, are you a fool? Is your wisdom found in uplifting of men and their knowledge of Scripture? Or is it found in the foundation that you have in Jesus? You know, and, and along with that question, Pastor Jason, you left us with the challenge of, do you belong to Jesus Christ? Mm -hmm. And do you have true wisdom in him? You know, that challenge allows us to, you know, kind of refocus on seeking knowledge in God's word continuously each day, yet only relying on him for our true genuine wisdom which is so important daily as we live our lives. Yeah, yeah. Now, th this week we're going to be moving on to uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 4. And we're going to be studying through the first five verses of chapter 4. And really, it's time to be open. It's time to be honest with ourselves and take a look at what the standard should be. Uh, and when I say standard, what I mean, what do I mean? I mean for us as pastors, as elders, as servants, as stewards, we must be doing it for the love of God. You know, you're right, Pastor Jason. We should be held accountable. And, and as, as we studied the scripture this week and as we dug in and, you know, we, we did the whiteboard thing as we do each week, there's a reason not everyone is called to ministry. You know, it can be so challenging some days, and yet it, it's... Even though it's challenging, it can be exciting and, and fun and, and it's so fulfilling. Yet this is something we do not take lightly. Oh, absolutely, Pastor Brian. That is exactly right. We don't take it lightly at all. Uh, but truly, for the love of God, that's why we do it. Um, however, you know, even though we're talking about elders and pastors and shepherds uh, in this passage, this still holds true for each and every one of us um, as believers as well. Because as we grow in our faith and our walk with Christ, that has to happen. So we're going to continue to prepare for Sunday, and we pray that you are too. So I have to ask you a question. What does this week look like at Grace Alive? Oh, man, we are ramping it up, Pastor Jason. And I'm so excited. If you know me, I get excited, and I am oh, super yeah. excited about this. Our schedule is jam-packed. Coming up here at Grace Alive this Sunday starts our fall kickoff. And you know what that means? This is where we return with Bible Hour starting yeah. at 9 a.m. in the morning and our regular worship service at 10.30 a.m. So be here at 9 because during our Bible Hour, we're going to have Sunday school for children, K, kindergarten through fifth grade. And also we have our Rise Up Bible Hour, which is for our students, junior high through high school. Yeah. So sixth grade through 12th grade. Mm -hmm. Also, we have a new parents class starting, which is called Screens and Teens. Now, that's, uh, I say for parents, but also you don't have to just be a parent to attend oh. that. Anybody can attend that. Um, that's going to be an awesome, awesome addition to our Bible Hour time. And then our adult Bible Hour class is going to be taught by you, Pastor Jason. Yep. You're going to be starting with and dive into the parables of Jesus Christ. So that that's going to be fun. And also, I want you to check out our website because we have so many different Bible studies coming out throughout the week. I mean... You'd be amazed for both men and women. Almost every night of the week, we have something going on. Even during the day, we have different Bible studies. So check out our website. Take a look and see the different Bible studies that we have throughout the week and different things going on on the weekend. So check it out. Wow. Wow. That is a whole bunch of stuff, Pastor oh, Brian. Man, That's a lot. I am super excited. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of info, uh, but it's awesome to see uh, all these things going on throughout the week uh, here at the church. Uh, now, before we go, we, we always like to leave you with a challenge uh, for the week. And uh, so I hope through, through this, um, you begin to also prepare your hearts for Sunday. Uh, that's going to be the challenge that we have is this, the question, are you living a life that is worthy of receiving praise from God. Now, we might say, well, yeah, of course, I, I do. I'm living a life. But when we stop and examine our lives through the lens of Scripture and through what, he, what, what uh, is being taught by Paul here, are we receiving 
And are we living a life that is receiving praise from God? Big question. Big one. Big one. Thanks, Pastor Jason. I hope you're getting pumped up. I'm getting fired up. Get excited for our fall kickoff. Don't forget, we're having lunch afterwards. Yep. A lot of food. Going to have some games. Yep. Hey, join us this Sunday, 9 o'clock for Bible Hour, 1030 for service. Can't wait to see you there. Hey, see you then.